In this video, I'm going to take you along on a photo project I did in southern Texas, where I went across the state capturing the small towns and the landscapes of this amazing region of the country. Let's get started. Hey, it's Jay, welcome to the channel. So I recently returned from a photo project I did in Texas. I flew to San Antonio, rented a car, I drove across the state, uh, six days, about 1400 miles, with a little detour in New Mexico for a day of shooting there. And the goal was really to capture the small towns and the landscapes of Southern Texas which I think were fantastic. My eye was really drawn to some of these towns where it's, they're slightly depressed, they're maybe a bit worse for the wear, but honestly, there's a real beauty there. There's some classic architecture, some great colors, and I'm driving around, I'm finding old cars, fantastic buildings, uh, and so I thought it was great. Uh, you'll see even when I process the images, I did so with sort of a vintage flair to it. I think it adds to, uh, to the images. If you do like the video, it does help the channel just to give me a like. Uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. Let's get started with the video. Well, my first stop is in Hondo, Texas, a small little town right on Route 90. You can see some of the town behind me. Really, really quiet today. Uh, so I'm gonna make my way around, see if I can get some shots of this, uh, this cute little town. Pretty quiet town, Hondo, Texas. It's a little downtown area, not many people around. I suspect a lot of the towns I'm gonna to visit will be like that. Next stop for me is Dehanis, Texas. Uh, if you thought Hondo was small, this is about a tenth of the size. So it's one strip of stores. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit. Uh, kind of cool old buildings though. Uh, some nice colors. So not a bad stop. It's right on the way to my next stop anyway. So it was a good, good time to pull off the road. It's always tricky shooting in the middle of the day uh, because you know the sky is very bright. Like this building behind me, which I was just shooting, um, it's much darker than the sky. So what I'm doing is really just exposing for the building, and I'm letting the sky get blown out, really, because the sky is pretty boring anyway. So usually the best way to go. I uh, found ruins of an old church back here. I'll turn the camera around and show you. Uh, it's on a really just quiet, dusty road, so I figured I'd pull over and try to get some shots. It's not that spectacular, but I'm driving through the area. I might as well get these kind of shots while I'm here. Well, next stop along Route 90 is Sabinal, Texas. Uh, another small little town with a cute little downtown. Some buildings are closed up, unfortunately, but the architecture is still pretty cool. Well, a lot of these towns have old theaters, unfortunately many of which are closed. I'm not sure if this one's open, it looks like it's closed, but just fantastic old architecture, almost Art Deco 
looks like the 1930s, I would guess. So just a quick stop in Nippa, Texas. Uh, it shows up as a town on the map. When you get here, there's just really nothing here. So I'll wander around a little bit. Uh, I think it's a lot of farming around here. So they have these really, really small towns that clearly have seen better days. But uh, again, sort of interesting to look at as a subject. Well, I am in Uvalde, Texas. I'm staying over in Uvalde for the night. Uh, got some dinner and I'm just kind of walking around the downtown area. Uh, this looks like a fairly empty block here. It's a big defunct hardware store it looks like to me, but kind of like the colors. I like that sky in the back. So uh, getting my wide angle lens out and get some shots. Well, good morning. It is day two of my trip. I uh, stayed over in Uvalde and I'm heading to Del Rio today, but I'm taking somewhat of a circuitous route uh, to capture some small towns and some landscape around here. Uh, my first trip, and it's not even sunrise yet, my first stop is uh, Camp Wood, Texas. Tiny little town, just a quick stop, but I kind of like this building in back of me, uh, which I'm getting with some cars coming through. It's dark enough I can use a three, four second exposure. So I'm getting some cars coming through the scene and getting some tail lights in front of this kind of old western building. Uh, let me get a couple more shots and I'll see what else I can find in the town. Well, I found this old, I think it's a Cadillac, in front of this, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's a restaurant, a store, it's closed anyway, but uh, just kind of a cool shot. I'm getting it, you can see my camera in a tripod here, uh, getting kind of down low really to get the car as the main focal point, but uh, with that store in the background. Wish the other background was a little cleaner, but uh, all in all, a pretty good shot. I looked across the street and I love that old Coca-Cola sign. I'm not sure you can see it on this camera, but I have an old beaten up sign with some worn out homes, I guess, on the other side of the street back there. But it makes, I'm, I'm in tight, I'm using a long lens, but I'm, uh, I think it makes for an interesting composition. I like some of these colors as well. I made it up to Rock Springs, Texas, and it is uh, another small town that is fairly empty. You see the stores behind me. I think almost all of them are closed, but uh, I think the architecture is really interesting. There are some stores that are open. There's a cute little Thai cafe, believe it or not, right over here. I'll show you in a second, but uh, I'll make my way around. I'll see, uh, see what I can find. Nice drive today through some interesting landscape. Didn't do much photography, but it was beautiful to look at, just hard to shoot. Uh, I am in Del Rio, Texas. I'm staying over here tonight. Uh, it's the afternoon, so I'm just gonna walk around the main town and, uh, and check it out. I could already see there's some really interesting buildings, signs, colors. Uh, the architecture definitely has a, has a flair to it. So let me, uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at and uh, you can judge for yourself. So we've got some great old buildings, some of them not in great shape. This uh, would be a beautiful theater if that awning in front was still there, but it's not. But as you go down, you can see uh, 
Kind of cool, kind of cool stuff. Some good colors way down there, and you can see it from here. But uh, again, I'll walk around and try to capture some of this stuff. Buildings here with some great texture and color to it. Even though it's not, you know, traditionally a beautiful building, my eye is definitely drawn to it and the history that it represents as well. I wish I could make out all that writing up there. Maybe on camera you can see it better. Well, I found this old barber shop. I think it says Nick's Barbershop there. You can see the classic stripes. And it's got this somewhat older beaten up truck in front. So I'm going to try to get it from this angle. Could be an interesting shot, although the front of it looks pretty cool too. So I'll do both. Well, I didn't vlog too much in the afternoon in Del Rio, but I did walk around town and I took these shots here. around some side streets here and I came across this building which is unoccupied but I love the colors. I don't think you can capture it on this uh, vlogging camera. We got this red trim and green trim and the shape uh, is really cool. Let's see if I can capture this one. Well good morning. I am continuing my journey across South Texas. Uh, stopped in a very small town, if you could call it that, called Langtree, mostly to shoot that church behind me. <laughs> I am a sucker for sort of lone buildings or lone trees uh, that really do pop against uh, the background. They're isolated to some extent. There's not a lot of distracting elements behind this. And so uh, I'm just getting some shots from different angles. The idea this morning was to have a glorious sunrise coming from there. As you can see, there are a lot of clouds in the sky, so no sunrise today. Uh, kind of an interesting sky, but unfortunately, I was hoping to get some, uh, some sunlight. I'll turn around and show you the church. Uh, on the church, splashing against it. Ideally, with some dark clouds behind it. Wouldn't that be cool? Well, I could do it in Photoshop, but I uh, was hoping to get the real thing. Anyway, let me get some shots, and uh, we'll move on. Well, I am still in my first stop, Langtree, but there's a spot called the Eagle's Nest. And I am looking across the Rio Grande River. Not much of a river these days, but... And that is Mexico on the other side. Uh, it is beautiful here. It's just, it's enormous, it's amazing, it's vast. I just don't know if I'm getting good photos. Uh, you can see my tripod perched on what is a bit of a cliff coming down, but um, again, trying to get some shots uh, of this spectacular uh, vista. So definitely a good thing to have in your camera bag is a uh, hard stop neutral density filter, graduated filter, because when you get a scene like this, you can't really tell here but because the camera's adjusting, but that sky is quite a bit brighter than this foreground. So when I put my ND filter on, you could see on the camera, back of the camera, it gets balanced out really nicely. It actually makes the sky a little darker, which makes it even moodier. But like right out of camera, I am getting a really good shot right now. I barely will have anything to do in post. Well, I am making my way west on Route 90. Uh, not a lot on the road, just a huge amount of wide open space. I did stop 
a couple of times when there was an interesting sky and I took these shots. Uh, and of course, I'm also a sucker for kind of a lone RV out in the middle of nowhere. So I got a couple of these as well. But uh, overall, just a pretty drive, but uh, not a lot of photography. But there's a little, I'm not even gonna call it a town, maybe former town called Dryden, Texas. And in back in DC, maybe it was a post office at one point, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it's nothing now. But it's basically, there's, I don't know, five or 10 dilapidated buildings here. So I'm just gonna stop and get this shot and uh, moving on to, uh, to the west. I made it to Sanderson, Texas, and uh, some great old buildings here. This old gas station with a fantastic sign up there against a blue sky. I got lucky with the sun hitting it. So I'm just doing some shots here. I got off Route 90 and headed north to Fort Stockton, Texas. I'm just on the outskirts of town, but I'm already seeing some interesting things. There's an old trailer behind me with some cool colors with a red building behind it. So I'm trying to get a shot with both in the frame. A little abstract, but really just picking up on those colors in this deserted, sandy parking lot. I made it back down south to Route 90. I'm staying in Alpine, Texas, but I did a drive this evening over to Marfa, Texas. This is definitely a town that was on my list to visit anyway, so it's right in this route. I'm really excited to explore. Uh, I'm just doing a drive around right now, uh, just taking shots. But there's some super interesting buildings. Look at this great building behind me with this super color. So uh, again, making the drive around, there's some other things that I've mapped out that I'll definitely want to do, but uh, kind of a nice evening. It's beautiful weather, beautiful sky. Not a bad way to spend an evening. spots I definitely wanted to shoot was the Palace Theater in back of me and I got really lucky because uh, the sun is hitting it in spectacular fashion and there's no cars parked in front. Actually a woman just pulled in and I asked her if she wouldn't mind moving. I said I know it's a little obnoxious of me but she said gladly so uh, I'm getting some good shots. Now, I'm using a wide angle lens but one challenge you do have is I really don't want to point the camera up get the top of that uh, theater, I really have to, if I'm shooting a landscape, uh, I gotta point it up. So I'm shooting uh, portrait mode, uh, trying to keep the camera very level. I'm getting a lot of the foreground, I'll just crop that out. So I will get a shot that is pretty level, because if you point the camera up, you're gonna get all kinds of distortions, which I'm trying to avoid. So that's how I'm gonna get, uh, hopefully, a very straight shot. Well, I'm on the outskirts of town, uh, and I found this fantastic structure behind me. I'm not sure if it's a grain silo or not. Right now, the sun's behind a cloud, but when I got here, the sun was blasting against this, uh, and I thought it was fantastic. So I got some shots. I'll put them up in a second, but um, with the sun hitting it and that blue sky in the back, I think it's probably gonna look good in black and white because I can darken the blues in the sky and create some nice contrast. I know this isn't a conventionally, conventionally beautiful building, but uh, 
but I like these things. Well, I am looking at one of the coolest art installations in South Texas. Let me turn this camera around, I'll show you what I'm looking at. This is Prada Marfa. It's uh, kind of a fake Prada store in the middle of nowhere. There's <laughs> nothing this way. And when I swing around this way, you'll see there is nothing going on there. It's on Route 90. And uh, I got here early, but I'm gonna wait for sunset. And I believe it gets lit up at night. So I'm hoping I can get the perfect timing where the, um, where the light from the sky is balanced with the light from the store. I still have about 45, 50 minutes before that happens. I get here way too early, but I'll hang out and uh, hopefully not too many people show up at sunset. Well, the sun has set behind those mountains over there. I still gotta wait though. You really can't even see in this camera, but there are some lights in there, but you don't really notice them because it's still bright outside. So I'm gonna have to wait another 15 minutes. I'm getting chilly though. It's breezy out here. Uh, but uh, definitely going to make that make that wait. I'm not going to leave too early. Well, I think I got it. Um, again, I took a lot of shots at different exposure, so uh, there's definitely either one I can use or several I can use. Uh, and I also got. Uh, yeah, I'll show you on the camera here, but let me flip this around. I ended up getting some uh, tail lights coming through the scene. So I played around, I think I got some good shots. It's quite an installation here. It's really kind of neat. It's still 30 miles outside of Marfa, which is in the middle of nowhere anyway. So <laughs> not a lot of people here, which is great, but uh, I will sign off now and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. Take care. Good morning, I'm starting off the next day and I stayed in Alpine, Texas. I'm heading north for a bit, but I wanted to stop in downtown Alpine because there's this great, I think it's an old theater behind me. It may still be a theater, but I love the way it's lit up. Um, you know, in the, in the lower half, plus you get some ambient light in the sky. So I'm just trying to get some shots. These are longer exposures because it's dark, but I've got my camera and a tripod. And actually, I got some cars coming through the scenes, or I do get those tail lights if I want them. But let me get some shots, I'll show you what they look like. Well, I am heading north, going to a town called Fort Davis, but I was driving up. The sun has not yet risen, but there's a glow in the sky. I'll turn around and show you in a second. But, important point, it was bouncing on these mountains back there. So I stopped, pulled over, got my tripod out. Hey, let me flip the camera and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So there's this mountain range back there with this dirt road leading back to it, acting as a nice leading line. So I'm getting some shots and it's coming out really nice. Just a nice golden color on those rocks with a deep blue sky. So some good shots. But when I got up to Fort Davis, one of the subjects I really wanted to shoot was this church, which was set up against this really cool rock formation. Well, I am getting this angle with my wide angle lens too. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, the challenge is that front of the church is really bright and you got some stuff in the shade, but I'm finding that my camera can really handle that sort of dynamic range, it's not that dramatic. I'm trying to align this telephone pole right about here. It'll just be easier to get rid of in post. Uh, that'll be a pretty quick fix. If I put it over here, it would be much tougher because the, uh, the church background there is a little bit busier. Well, 
After I shot the church, I did wander around town just to get these other shots. Pretty cool spot. Well, if it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere, I sort of am. Uh, I drove north from Fort Davis to photograph a church, one single church. And uh, on the map it said the road might be closed. I was very nervous. Luckily it wasn't. So I am now looking at the church and it is phenomenal. It's called Calera Chapel. I uh, don't know the history. I'm sure you can Google it. C-A-L-E-R-A, -E chapel. Sun is hitting it beautifully. Bright blue sky. Uh, this is going to be a nice shot. This, again, might be black and white, but might be cool in color, too, because there are some, there's some blue trim to the, uh, to the awning in front and those benches. So we'll see. I'll be here for a little bit. The uh, chapel's open, so I'm gonna go inside. I'm so used to things being locked, you know, and not getting access. Just to have it open is just so cool. So I'm gonna check it out. I put my wide angle lens on, my 16 to 35 millimeter, because if I'm inside a small chapel, I'm gonna get as much as I can. Let's go check it out. It is amazing in here. It's tiny, but it uh, seems very authentic to me. So, I don't know, maybe we can get about 50 people in here, maybe. Well, I'm shooting the inside the other way as well. Uh, there's a fairly ugly parking lot out there. So what I plan to do is just overexpose the outside. It's pretty dark in here. So the inside will be properly exposed and that doorway, probably the windows would just be blown out, which I think might be pretty interesting. So I'll give that a try. Well, I am in Sierra Blanca. It's uh, near Van Horn, Texas, where I'm staying. I just drove over here uh, to shoot a couple of buildings. This is a town that ha has clearly seen better days. Uh, I'm on the main street and most of the buildings are closed. I mean, the vast majority. There was one place at a big sign, we're open, and that was definitely the exception. But across the street from me is an old theater. I think it was called the State Theater now Tate, but it's kind of isolated. I really kind of love the classic architecture. Uh, so I'm shooting it. I'm shooting it kind of middle of the day because the sun, this is uh, you're facing south, so the sun is hitting it pretty nicely right now. I am in Van Horn, Texas now. I'm actually staying over tonight. I uh, just drove downtown. There's a really cool hotel in back of me, the uh, El Capitan. Uh, I'm not sure it's a great photo subject. I'll take some shots. I like the way the sun is hitting the sign. And the sign is just classic. I'll wander around. I'm not sure this could be a great photo. I'll put it up anyway, but uh, kind of a cool downtown area. I did drive around Van Horn and got these other shots. In addition, I went back to the El Capitan Hotel at sunset and I got a couple more shots of uh, the sign. Well, good morning. This is the scene I'm looking at. I am in Sierra Blanca again. Uh, I came, I'm heading west, but I stopped here because I thought there might be a good sunrise and in fact, there is a great sunrise. 
uh, it was really hard to find a good location. You can't just shoot a sunrise, you want something in the foreground. So I found this dirt road uh, that is working pretty well as kind of leading line interest to the sky. Well, when I got to this spot, that sun was, the sky was just blazing pink and red. Luckily, I rushed to get some shots before I started vlogging, because had I waited, it's or, uh, as we speak, the colors are fading. So when you see a shot, don't waste time. Just get out there and get the shooting. So <clears throat> what I did was I got my camera back here on uh, a tripod because that sky at least was a little brighter than the foreground, I put a hard edge ND filter on it to darken the sky. I could get detail in the foreground. It's an okay shot. There's some distracting elements back there, some you know, street lights that I will just get rid of in post. And now the sky is basically nothing. So <laughs> I rushed, I think I got the shot. I will put it up right now and you can decide if it was any good. Before I left Sierra Blanca, I did drive around a bit. It was a quiet morning, and I got these shots of a, just a classic southern Texas dusty town. Well, I am making my way west towards El Paso. I got off the main interstate though, uh, which is Route 10. I'm on Route 20 now, and I'm in Fort Hancock, Texas. Now that might ring a bell for some of you. Um, if you've ever seen the Shawshank Redemption, Fort Hancock, Texas is where Red buys a bus ticket to before he goes into Mexico to say Juantaneo to see his old friend, Andy Dufresne. I hope I didn't give away the ending. I'm sure you've all seen it. Anyway, Fort Hancock, Texas, I was hoping there would be like a sign here like Red was here or something, but there's nothing. It's a really dusty town, as you can see from you know, behind me. But I'm gonna make my way around a little bit before I move on, just to get some shots. As I made my way west, there were some pretty cool landscapes, so I did pull over on the side of the road a number of times just to get these shots. So I'm making my way west, and I am in Fabens, Texas, uh, another small dusty town right on Route 20. And in back of me is the Oasis Ballroom. Uh, just a really cool structure. Love the color. Um, love the retro feel to it. Sorry for the cars. So I'm getting my wide angle lens out. It's not a very uh, wide road, so I've got to kind of get back as far as I can, try to capture the whole thing. I made it to El Paso, Texas. Uh, got a quick lunch, just driving around downtown and I'm uh, shooting a subject that doesn't fit in with a trip, but it's my kind of thing and that is architecture, uh, more modern structure. Uh, let me turn the camera around, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Get a sense of the building. I'm shooting from an, kind of an interesting angle. Sorry, learning this camera still. But uh, got some nice defined clouds out there. It's very bright, but I'm using two neutral density filters and I'm able to go out 30 seconds. I'll click off a shot now. With this cloud movement, uh, it should be pretty good. Well, it is my last full day on this trip and I made my way north from uh, El Paso to Alamogorda, New Mexico, which is probably the biggest town in this area, still a small town. 
Uh, but I think there's some really cool architecture here. You see this theater in back of me that I'm going to be shooting. But there's a main street. It's a Sunday morning, so it's fairly quiet. I'm hoping I get some good shots. On the way up here, I did do some shooting. I couldn't really vlog it. It was like run and gun, which is really how most of this trip has gone. Um, but here are the shots I got on the way up here. And I'm driving on the road and I'm kind of keeping an eye on the road, but keeping an eye on the horizon and see what there was. So I got these shots and I did pull over and get that uh, railroad shot as well, which is pretty cool. So let me uh, get my camera, get some sh shots here. Park my car, I'm just gonna walk around town a little bit. Uh, it's really quiet Sunday morning. It's probably quiet <laughs> most of the time, given that a lot of these stores unfortunately are closed, but uh, I already see some cool shots. Well, I just love the colors here, they're fantastic. I've got my wide angle lens, but uh, I don't know if it's wide enough. Like, Try to get as much of this uh, scene in as I can. Well, I'm gonna make it to White Sands National Park uh, a little later this afternoon. So I had some time to kill, so I drove north to a town called Tularosa, about 15 minutes north of where I was, not far. Uh, yeah, a nice quaint little old town, some great colors behind me. So I'm just, this is a very small town, but I'll uh, make my way here, see if there are any shots to take. Probably won't vlog too much, but I'll put up some shots if I get them. <laughs> well, I made it to White Sands National Park and it is remarkably white. Um, as I said before, it's really, really windy. Um, and I'm here early. Really want to get here later in the day when the sun is lower, because the sun then creates these shadows on the sand dunes that really make it much more interesting. Now you get really flat shots. It's not even worth going out right now. Uh, as I said, it is really windy. And so uh, I'm going to have to be super careful with my gear. I may not vlog while I'm out there. It's gonna, I'm just going to see because this, it's actually not sand. I forget what it's called, but it's super fine. And so we will get in everything. Okay, so this is the get up. This is the outfit I'm going out there with. Um, I'm going to bring just my camera. I'm not, bring, not going to try to change lenses out there. It would be a disaster. I've got a plastic bag to wrap my camera in. And I'm going to keep it in there uh, when I'm not shooting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog out there. I'll probably bring my vlogging camera, but I'm not sure if I'll bring it out. It really just depends. Uh, if I don't, trust me, I'm going to enjoy myself, and I will show you the photos after. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a great time uh, making this video and, and doing this trip. If you did like it, it does help the channel just to give me a thumbs up, a like. Uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And until next time.